Hello, today's Bible study comes from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. We'll be reviewing verses 1 through 3, and it reads as follows. Now, brothers and sisters, about times and dates, we do not need to write to you. For you know very well that the day of the Lord will come like a thief in the night. While people are saying peace and safety, destruction will come on them suddenly as labor pains on a pregnant woman, and they will not escape. So, Paul is talking about getting ready. Something we all should be doing, getting ready for the return of Christ. And Paul says that Jesus is coming back. And he says, you all know about it. You all know about this. This is nothing new to you. Because he says, now brothers and sisters, about times and dates, we don't write to you. And the reason they don't write to them about the date is because they don't know. But what he also is stating to them, be ready. See, they were in prophetic times that they were living in right then and there. And you can see the seasons and the things moving and everything, but the truth of the matter then and now is to be ready. And Paul tells them, the day of the Lord so comes. This is truly just telling them, it's God's time. Man doesn't know. How could he know? Man has his and his day and the Lord will definitely, most assuredly, have his day. And that is going to be when Jesus judges us all. And then he tells him it's going to come like a thief in the night. See, they, they knew of this. They had been taught this. But none of us know the Lord's day. None of us know it. And since it is unknown, the only way that it can come is as a surprise or a thief in the night. You will never see a thief going, hey, can I come in and rob you? That thief comes when you are asleep, when your house is empty, when you are unaware. And a lot of times when you are not prepared. And Paul is letting them know it comes like a thief in the night. But pre be prepared. And then he says to them. While people are saying peace and safety. Uh oh. What truly is happening is destruction will come on them suddenly as labor pains on a pregnant woman and they will not escape. Uh-oh. See, this is not going to be something anybody can get away from. And Jesus spoke of this in Matthew. You can read it in Revelation. But this is the time when there will be a great tribulations and the sorrows will come. And those tribulations and sorrows are what is considered the labor pains. And when Paul describes it, it's like giving birth, both of them. And what are we giving birth to? A new time. Because it's going to be great sorrow and great tribulation. And the bad thing, which will lead to the good thing, is there is going to be an increase on wickedness. There is going to be a gain in wickedness. And we may not want to gain in wickedness. But remember this. It is coming. It is the day of the Lord. So it will be as labor pains. That new tribulation. That new sorrow and
and it will come like a thief in the night. Amen.